Oh, holy crap. Monster, dude. <laughs> holy crap. Holy crap, dude. This thing is a beast. So big. Holy crap. Oh, <laughs> oh, my. Holy. oh my god. That's a good bug. What Simple think, but effective. tying a red chronomid with a snow cone head and the materials we're using are these curved hooks it's a size 14 that's a pretty solid um, size uh, and as you can see these hooks are a lot longer this is a size 14 you got to get this style it's like a really long round bend 2x long curved shank yep so this is the good hook. We're gonna be using a white bead, which mimics the coronamid um, hatch. It's kind of got a white head. You can use white fluff, but the snow cone is pretty effective. And it's, um, if you just want something simple to do, it's pretty easy to do just a white bead. And for the body, we're gonna be using stretch tubing. This is micro, size is micro, and the color is red. So the thread we're using today is a um, 6.0 waxed thread in black. And if you're tying coronamids with the stretch tubing, um, it's really nice because a black will give it a darker tint. So it's kind of almost going to look maroon when it's done. Um, but if you want more of a red tint, uh, you can use red thread. I'm just using black today. Um, but this stuff is really see-through so you'll you'll at the end you'll kind of see how it's really dark It gives it a darker color and those work really well in the spring. So we're just tying the bead into place the head We're gonna give it a nice coat of black thread over the body Again, this is gonna give it that nice dark tint And I'm gonna tie about to where the hook shank starts to curve. It's gonna be my anchor for the red stretch tubing, step two. So I usually just do a little bit like that, hold it up and tie her in. And you can just pretty much wrap it till the, till the tubing disappears if you can get around it. It's part of the challenge. It's got a pretty slender body, so it doesn't, you know, it's not going to kill you to give it a little more beef. We're at the front. We're going to start wrapping with the stretch tubing. All right, so this is pretty much the final step in this really quick, easy to learn fly. So when you wrap in, just make sure that they are even and touching. That's like the most important part. If there's any space in between them, fish are going to notice and they're not going to bite your fly and you're going to be really sad. Give it kind of that nice thick head. Okay, now we're just going to tie it off. So pull it up. Do some wraps on both sides of that. Um, on that stretch tubing, right? Okay, and then what I like to do is, because this is really stretchy, um, basically just pull it out a little bit and cut it as close to the base as you can. Okay, and now the final step, we're just going to hit this with a nice whip finish. One, two, three, four. Let's hit it one more time. Five, and then pull down. Take this puppy off. And pull it tight. There you go. I might hit the, we might use uh, these this uh, weekend. We're gonna go out to Jordanelle. It's gonna catch fish. These are really solid in the spring uh, when the coronamids are hatching. 
like I said, you can use white fluff on the head if you want, but the snow cone is pretty easy to do. Um, one thing I like to do just to give, um, you can use head cement, but I use uh, UV resin, but it kind of seals it really nice and gives it a good shine. Okay, so let's just start with like the bead head. Um, just very easy to everything. And that's gonna be nice because that'll keep your threads tied in there good. And you see that nice gloss look it gives it. It's got a good shine. Let's smack it real quick with this black light. I like to rotate it. It doesn't need that long. It cures pretty quick. Okay, and I'm just gonna give the whole body a thin coat. You don't wanna go crazy with it. That's earlier on, I used to go crazy with the UV resin just cause I love the way it makes them look. But this thing is, it doesn't need that much. Okay. I'm coming over this way, I don't want Holy crap. No. It's yeah, a rainbow. It's a rainbow. No, no. Yeah, that's a huge rainbow. Oh, All right, yeah. That's a monster, dude. <laughs> Holy crap. That is, that's probably the biggest rainbow we've ever caught, easily. Thought it was a muskie, too. <laughs> well, it looked it's like just it. long, dude. Yeah, that, that thing is huge. Long. Yeah, this might be the biggest trout, <laughs> or at least rainbow we've caught. Like muskie, or like muskie's long and skinny, kind of like that. That thing's not skinny though. I only have two pound line on like usual. I'm always complaining about how light the yeah, line so, is. Um, if you can get him like, oh. she's, yeah, she's not happy. <laughs> oh yeah. Dude, that is such a nice fish, man. I really hope we land this. <laughs> That's gotta be like close to a state record. Uh, not even Joe, there. stop saying everything's a state run. Not if he lands this, we gotta get a good shot of the chrominid. Is that what you were throwing as chrominid? Oh. Holy crap, dude. This thing is a beast. <laughs> Yo, I'm rocking freaking sunny line on here. Two pound line. I, I have no leeway. That is such a nice rainbow, dude. It's easily got to be the biggest. I think I got the perfect amount of tension on him. Dang it, dude. That's what. That's why we thought. Musky like, or uh... so big. Holy crap! Whenever you can get him in, man, I'll just jump down wherever. I don't care if my shoes get wet. Got another. Holy cow! That's huge. That thing's got like a deformed face. Right here is like the best spot. Yeah, I think you can get him right here. God, dude! <laughs> this is huge. Look at his face. He's got like that it's weird, uh, big old bra. Mutant. <laughs> it's a mutant fish. State record mutant. <laughs> Okay, you can get him in this vicinity, otherwise I can't. Just try not to break off. He's going to break off when you dip him in. I'm going to, you, you think, catch it from the tail or the face? Face. Face. <laughs> Dude, that is a monster. Joe's world famous problem. Alright, come on. Nope. He's getting tired. He's getting close. He's probably got a few more runs left in him. I don't even know. Holy crap, dude. All right, this is it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's get it, let's get it. Oh! <laughs> dude! Oh Holy! Oh my god! That is so big. Oh my god. We need god. a bigger net. <laughs> that thing is ridiculous. That is probably close to, dude, that's close to a record, man. That's yeah. gotta be. That's that is huge. Oh my fly. Look at that. Gosh. Fly. Right there. Ugh. Come here. Oh, that's the snow cone. Dude, that thing is the that biggest, is rainbow. biggest rainbow. That is sure. easily the biggest rainbow. 
That's the biggest rainbow I've ever seen in my life. For, for all you people at home, he looks way bigger. He's so <laughs> he huge, dude. Yeah, try not to snap that off, I guess. Huh? Do you want me to let me know where you want the net? Let's see where that bug is. That's a good bug. What Simple, think, but effective. So you tied that bug? Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, check it. Very good looking. Simple. Effective. Nice Give him a little fill. drink. Nice and then catch, take Phil. Take oh my, just for reference, dude, that's like, that is, that's such a big fish. That is me, the biggest rainbow I've ever seen. It's hard to reference how long he is, but I'd say definitely like five pounds. That is just crazy that's a fish. Hog, dude. Massive. Nice catch. Can you get a close up? Wow. Look All at right. that thing. Let's get this beast in the water. Oh, that's that's awesome. Alright, so. I'm going to let her go. Ready? That's a monster. Catch, man. God. Uh, hold on. <laughs> your hands cold? Oh, they're frozen. My hands. I'll give you a handshake. Most of that was actually me because I tied that. that. So, I kind of caught that fish. 